Hello again. Good to see you. Thank you for joining me once more. This is the last in, uh, in my little series for this week. Uh, I hope it's been meaningful for you and, and has some uh, contribution to your day throughout uh, this week. We've been talking about movement, about exercise, physically, spiritually, not sitting still, being on the go. And so what I want to finish with this week is the idea of paths, the paths that we travel, the old path, the ancient path, the new path. And I want to read to you from Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls. The pathway, the pilgrim way, if you like, the old way or the ancient, as, as that translation says, the, the ancient path, the old path, is a mountain path. How do we know that? Well, the psalmist says, who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? So it's a hill. And then we contrast that to where the psalmist also says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. So we have a mountain or a hill and we have a valley. So we know that the old path is going to be one that's going to be taking us up a hill. And, and it's not the ease, uh, but it's the effort and the difficulty that makes us stronger. If we just walk this normal path uphill and, and we don't huff and puff and uh, we're able to do it with much ease, then we think we did it in our own strength. But it's the difficulties, that uh, the hardships that make us work a little more at it. There's also the thorny path. Paul found it so when he referred to the thorn in the flesh. Jesus warned his disciples of the hardships and the dangers that would lay ahead by being uh, declaring themselves as followers of Jesus. So there are thorns out there. And then, of course, there's the blood-marked path. That's the Via Della Rosa, uh, the way of the cross. The early adventurers blazed trails in the wilderness with, with axes. Uh, we spent uh, three days, four days up north a um, few months ago uh, on a fishing trip. And you're in the middle of nowhere in, in, in God's great handiwork. And you wonder, how did people come through this? The early settlers, the, the original indigenous peoples, how did they clear that land to begin to put villages? They blazed trails because they had a goal in mind, an area they wanted to reach. And it became a blood marked path because of the difficulties that they went through. Well, Jesus blazed a pathway to heaven with his own blood, with his own blood when he died on the cross. And so it brings us back to this verse, these verses that we read, if we were to carry on, we would talk about the straight and the narrow. And we know how that goes. Straight is the path and, and few are in it. Uh, uh, straight is, is the, the broad road and many are in it. Uh, but narrow is, is the straight path and, and few go on it. Because it's a little more difficult. And, and you have to watch your step when you're trying to live the Christian life. You have to stay on the straight and narrow. But the good news, and want to end with good news this week, is that it leads to God. It leads to God and the opportunities that we would have to, in a sense, sit at his feet, to learn of him, to discover of him, and to know about his love for us. I hope this week is one where it's caused you to move, not just in a physical sense, but in a spiritual sense. From where you were, you worked, you rested, you worked again. You did not sit still, but you strove to be more like God. Let's be Christ-like in the days that lie ahead. May God bless you. Let me pray with you. Father, it is with great thanks and love that we bestow back to you for all that you do. We thank you for your grace that helps us on our journeys, that helps us in our exercise, that helps us when we rest. May we not take that for granted, but be appreciative of all that you do for us. We love you. We give ourselves to you. 
We pray that uh, this day will give us opportunities to find you in everything that we do. Bless again those who have listened and come under the influence of your word, because we ask this in your name. Amen and amen. Thank you very much, dear friends. It's been a good week. Uh, hope to see you soon when we uh, have an opportunity to meet in person. Take care. God bless you.